Hey guys, welcome to Just For Girls. Today we will be making recycling signs to help people better understand the colors of these bins. So the materials you'll need are one or two pieces of paper, depending on how big you want your sign to be. Some scissors, maybe print out pictures of the recycling signs or you can draw them in. And if you do pick, print out pictures, you will need some glue. And then, last but not least, pens or pencils. And for this video, I'm going to choose a green pen and a blue pen because they match the bin colors. So let's get started. So first, I have one piece of paper. So I'm going to cut this paper in half. Just simply cut right through it. It doesn't have to be that neat. And then, why don't we start with the green bin? So, you can take your pen or a green bin at top. Just so everyone, let, let, to, ev to let everyone know that this is one for the green bin. And I'm gonna take my green bin photo and glue it on my paper. right over there so and here i'm going to list the stuff that you put in the green bin and if you don't know what stuff you put in the green bin you can help me out and if i miss anything put it in the chat below so first thing i know that goes in the green bin is paper or cardboard so i'm going to put paper and cardboard Those are important because people get mixed up if you put them in the blue bin or the green bin. Next thing, I will put a pizza box because sometimes people don't know if that means paper or not. And you can add whatever sticks out to you, like maybe a milk carton or cartons in general. And That's really it, the one that varies the green bin. But to make it a little more cooler, we're gonna do something, a little drawing on the bottom of my paper. As you can see, I'm gonna, I'm drawing on earth actually. Just to make sure everyone knows that we should help protect the earth. Draw one land piece right here. This is not very neat, but it's fine, it's cute still. So. Another land piece right here, and one right here. And we cover the rest in blue water. Yours doesn't have to look the exact same as mine. It's your choice, really. I'm just giving you ideas. And that's my little earth. And I'm gonna put, help the earth. Just to make it more, more cute, really. So you can add any more cool things you want to your sign. Just, I'm gonna leave it like this now so we have time to go onto our blue bin. So for the blue bin, I am gonna use the blue marker and I'll put blue bin at the top. And there's a lot of stuff that goes in the blue bin, so we're gonna need some time, but I always remember to put the actual bin. Hmm. Okay, what goes in the blue bin? We have glass, we have metal, and the important thing about the blue bin is that we make sure what plastic we're putting in. We put certain plastic in the blue bin, and that's hard plastic. So we know if it's hard plastic, if we can't crumple it in our hands. If we can crum crumple it in our hand, it's soft plastic, and that usually goes in the trash because we can't recycle it. 
So I'm going to put hard plastic and underline hard. Just to make sure everyone knows that it's hard plastic. And another thing that I noticed that will definitely help people is people think, do we put batteries in the blue bin? Because technically they are might be made out of plastic and can't crumple it but no one puts batteries in the blue bin they are not recyclable so you will probably just put them in the trash but you can reuse them for different purposes no batteries it's important and I'm actually going to draw a small tree on this one instead of an earth, just to make it more different. Simple one, just like that. And instead of help the earth, I could put save the earth. And that really covers making our signs for the green bin and the blue bin. If you live in any building or even your house, you can put these up to help everyone know 